Donna, I just, as, as a parent whose who's, uh, children attended private school for a large part of their education, I just want to say that um, friendships are formed in private schools with people from all over the Bay Area, too. Yeah. You know, I'm still in a book club with the kids. My daughter's 25, turning 26. I'm still in a book club with the moms that were of the students who started with her in kindergarten, and they're still friends. A lot of those kids are still friends. So friendships don't have to be related to the, you know, the proximity to the school. Those were kids from, you know, mostly from Los Altos, Los Altos Hills, but also from Fremont, from Cupertino, from, you know, a wider dispersion. So I just want to offer that as a perspective of a, a parent who, who, uh, who, who understands the neighborhood school concept for friendships, but, you know, it applies to the private schools as well. Yes, yes. I, I think that uh, most members of the task force would understand that one and agree with it. Uh, I, I've got to say that, especially what I saw last night among the parents, the issue is less of a logical one than an emotional one. And it's very strong among the parents to defend this neighborhood school concept. Perfect. Any other